In this video, I'll talk about some of the most profitable niches to start a blog in. And if you didn't know, yes, there are some niches that are more profitable than others. So if you'd like to start a money-making blog, be sure to stick around to the very end of this video so you can get all the ideas for profitable blog niches. Now, if you are new to this channel and you're watching one of my videos or seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian and I post videos here on YouTube every single day on topics relating to making money and personal finance. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel and turning on all notifications. And that way you'll be able to get the updates every day when I post a new video here. Now, blogging can make you a lot of money. However, blogging does take time or at least creating a successful blog or money-making blog takes time. And so if you're thinking about starting starting a blog that makes you six figures in a month, then that's probably not going to happen. The average blog takes about six months to get monetized, and then it may take you another three to six months to start earning in the thousands per month. Now, the good thing about blogging though is that initially you do the work and then afterwards, the blog converts into a semi-passive income stream with the ability to become a fully passive income stream should you decide to create another niche blog or go do something else with your time. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video about the best way to make money online this year, in my opinion, and that was affiliate marketing. And I'll leave a link to that video here just in case you are interested in getting into affiliate marketing. But right up there with affiliate marketing, I would have to put vlogging, which can be uh, doing YouTube and also blogging as the best methods of making money online right now. So if you're ready to choose a niche, the good news is that you can choose anything you want, which makes blogging more of a fun time instead of blogging about things that you don't really like or things that you aren't really interested in. And you also don't need to be an expert to blog. If you're going to be giving legal advice, then that I think would require a professional. But if you want to blog about traveling or making money, then you can research, read other blogs, see what they're missing, and then create a blog with more information or more accurate information, which gives you that competitive edge. Also, whatever niche you choose to blog about, just know that you can blog about other things as long as it's related to the main niche. So if your blog is about traveling, you could make blog posts about a travel credit card or a debit card with low fees, which is finance related, but also something that your viewers would be interested in reading about and they would benefit from learning about it. So choose a niche that you are interested in and something that you know you at least have an interest in writing about every single day. Now, that would be similar to me making personal finance videos here on YouTube. I make these videos every day. If I really didn't like talking about personal finance and making money, then I wouldn't be able to do this every single day going on for about 12 months now. Now, here I'm going to share with you some ideas or niches that are very profitable, and this is based on how much advertisers will pay for ads in these niches. The cost of courses and learning materials in these niches, and also affiliate commissions paid in these niches. Now, this list isn't a list of the only profitable niches, but just some that I've come across that seem to be much more profitable than other niches. And here you can see beauty, and this is a very profitable niche, and my highest paid commissions from Amazon affiliates to date was from the beauty category, where someone spent over $15,000, and I was able to get about 5% in commissions, and that was from a single sale. We also have a luxury, and luxury is one of the highest paying niches. Also, from the Amazon affiliates program, luxury is at the top paying up to about 10% in commissions. So if you like talking about luxury items, wallets, bags, watches, jewelry, and just about anything luxury, you'll be in one of the most profitable niches today. Another very profitable niche is finance, and I also know this because that's the niche that I have this YouTube channel in. The average CPM from Google AdSense on a YouTube channel is around $4, meaning that you make around $4 per 1,000 views. However, after months in this niche, I realized that videos on financial products have much higher CPMs, sometimes even going over $100. Now, I haven't created a blog or monetized content in all these niches, but I have done a lot of research, and so I found that these were some of the most profitable niches to get into. 
Also, these niches can also have sub niches if you want to get a bit more specific with your content. And I always recommend getting very specific with your content niche. Also, getting specific helps you because, for example, do it yourself is a very vague, but do it yourself on a budget would be like a sub niche that you could dominate easily as opposed to competing with bigger blogs and thousands of bigger blogs in the do it yourself niche. So if you can choose a niche and then sub niche, that will help you a lot, especially when you're new and you're trying to build your online presence. Now, after choosing your sub niche, you then need to go searching for your competition and you'll always have competition or other blogs in the same niche. And this is actually very good for you because now you can look at these blogs and find out which ones are more successful. And then you can compare the ones that aren't successful with the successful ones. And then you can also get an idea of what your intended audience is looking for. So if you find 10 blogs that are very successful, then you need to do what they do. And you should always try to make the content or your content more engaging or just better in some way. Look at these blogs and see what they're missing that you could have on your blog, which would give you the competitive edge. Now, if you can figure that out, then you'll have a better blog and you'll be able to compete with these bigger blogs. Now, this may be rare, but if you search for other blogs in your niche or in the niche that you want to create your blog and you can't find any other blogs or content in that niche, it most likely means that it's not a profitable niche and so nobody is staying in that niche and that's something that you want to stay away from. Finding similar blogs is also very easy. If your niche is luxury, you can niche down to luxury on a budget and by simply Googling the term luxury on a budget will help you to find blog posts from other similar blogs in that niche. And so if you can't find anything related to the niche you want to be in, then I would personally start over and start thinking about another niche because you definitely don't want to put 12 months of work into a blog and get zero or just a couple hundred dollars after all that hard work. Also, you want to take the time here to look at how you will monetize your blog. And a good way to know what works for any particular niche is to take a look at your best competitors and see what monetization methods they are using. And if they're successful blogs, then they'll be using the most profitable uh, methods for monetization. So if you realize that they rely heavily on affiliates and not so much on Google ads, then that shows that affiliate marketing works really well in that particular niche. Or if they have their own brands and sell their own courses or products, then that does better in that niche. And this helps you to create the perfect plan, not only as it relates to the type of content that you'll be putting on your blog, but as well as the monetization strategies that you'll use so as to make your blog optimized for being as profitable as possible. Now with a blog, traffic is everything. More traffic equals more money. And so you need to have a plan or a strategy to get traffic to your blog. Look at other blogs and see where you can find links to them. Are they showing up primarily in Google search results for different search phrases in the same niche, or are they popular on social media, for example? This can help you to understand what types of methods you can and should be focusing on to get traffic to your blog. And the first one, which was showing up in the search results of Google, is actually the primary way of getting traffic for all websites and blogs. So you definitely want to get your blog optimized for the keywords you are targeting in that specific niche. So this video was about the most profitable niches for creating a blog. And I gave you guys about 10 examples. And I think these combined with the additional tips and information in this video should help you to get started in launching a very successful and very profitable blog in just a few months. Comment below and let me know if blogging is something that you want to get into. And also be sure to watch my other videos on the best ways to make money online. And I'll leave links to some of those videos here. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon so you can get notified when I post new videos here. Check all the links down below in the description for free and helpful stuff, including Weeble, where you can get into investing and crypto and get up to two free stocks for using the link and I'll see you guys tomorrow.